Hello everyone, welcome back to the dreary Dreek and overcast lake district. I wouldn't have it any other way. Not a problem though, let's get to it. So the eagle-eyed among you will probably have picked up, I'm back in my beloved Wasdale and today the conditions are not the best, should we say, or as we'd say up north, the Nautna Summit. And in the Lake District, unfortunately, Nautna Summit conditions is what you're going to get a lot of the time. For me, the key is having locations in your back pocket that suit those type of conditions. Now this area around Wasdale Head when I started photography, I basically covered every blade of grass of it. So when you get days like this, which is common, as I say, in the Lake District, you've got to be able to still match your location to the conditions that you've got. Where I'm going today, I think, suits the conditions, which is a secluded set of waterfalls up the, uh, up the valley here behind me. And uh, yeah, I think we can probably make this work right. Let's get cracking because I can see that there's a load of rain getting on the uh, lens from here, so we'll get walking up the track. This is really proving to be pretty difficult. <laughs> As soon as I got up here, I'm here now, um, but the, the rain has really come in and it's that fine persistent rain that's uh, making trying to video this an absolute nightmare. If I was just doing stills only today, I'd probably be all right. I could just dash in, get the shot and dash out again, but trying to put all this together with sound and everything else is, uh, is proving to be pretty difficult. I'm going to per persist with this though, I don't want to be defeated. Um, but while I'm here, I just uh, want to say a quick thanks to everyone who's submitted images for the critique video that I'm going to do. Now, I haven't forgotten about it. Don't worry about that. It's just time and fitting these things in. Uh, but if it's okay with you, uh, I'm going to pick out a few and then I'm going get, to get in contact with you and ask you to send me the raw file if possible, if you'd like me to go through how I would process the image. But uh, that video will be coming up shortly just need to get a few bits and bobs behind the scenes sorted with that uh, I'm potentially looking at bringing in another photographer to do a little bit of a collaboration on that one so stay tuned for that but right now I'm just going to wait for this rain to uh, hopefully ease off it's not looking too promising mind and uh, hopefully we can get the shooting done Thank God it has finally stopped raining. I've just got absolutely drowned there for about two hours. It's lucky I had all my waterproof gear with me because if this wasn't forecast. Uh, but of course, as is typical in the lakes, the sun is having the cheek to show itself now, <laughs> which is uh, not too bad for this shot, thankfully. Now I can finally get on with doing the shooting. So this is the waterfalls that I was talking about earlier. And the advantage of having been here several times in the past is I've got a very clear idea of what I want to shoot. There's two little sections of this waterfall that I want to concentrate on. This first one to my left here, you've got this lovely little bluey sort of cyan pool here that's given us a lovely bit of colour contrast in the foreground. And then our eyes led up towards the sort of brooding mountains in the background where that low cloud's passing over. We've got a lovely bit of atmosphere now. And as I said there, the light is starting to pop out every now and again, which is adding to the contrast in the scene. 
Now, I've said in the past, with uh, whenever you, whenever I'm shooting moving water, rarely do I want the exposure to be going on any longer than a second. Now, because the rivers are all in space at the minute, there's a lot of water coming down here, so I don't really want this exposure going on more than about half a second. But because the lights just got out, I'm actually having to use a three-stop filter here just to slow the water down enough to get the right shutter speed. Portrait format, about 30 millimeter, 29, 30 millimeter, something like that. Ideally, I'd actually like to get a bit lower into the pools, but the water's too deep today, so not really on the cards, but this is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna hang fire for a little bit and just wait for this light to pop out again. But uh, all in all, pretty happy with this shot. Right, I'm gonna to have to make this brief because as soon as I get set up and try and do something, the weather starts closing in again. It's just one of those afternoons where, as I was saying earlier, if I wasn't doing any video here, I could have got this done pretty quickly, but uh, honestly, these videos, what a pain in the ass they are sometimes. But uh, So I hope you appreciate what some of us uh, on here go to to produce these videos because it's been a, a tough old afternoon. Um, so yeah, this shot that I've got set up behind me, uh, this time in, it's going to be in landscape format and I'm going to be including a bit more of the mountain and the, the clouds in the background. Polarizer on again and the three stop, again working with about half a second shutter speed, something like that. Similar sort of composition in that you've got these lovely little rock pools where the, the blues and the greens are coming out really well when you've got the polarizer on. And we've got these two little prominent parts of the river running into the foreground, almost like fingers. And they're making a nice sort of lead in line up to the mountains in the distance. The one compositional concern I had here is that where the water is uh, emptying out into the bottom of the frame, it's a little bit dominant. So I've had to just move my composition left and right a little bit just to lessen that so it didn't just look like a big white plume at the bottom of the frame. Something you've always got to keep, keep an eye on when you're shooting waterfalls or running water is that you don't get too big an area of white foam, basically, that ends up dominating your shot. But I'm going to quickly try and get this shot while the, uh, the rain closes in on me. And uh, I'll put this on the screen. Let me know what you think. Tough shoot that one, tough shoot. Uh, pleased I stuck it out though, because it would have been easy after an hour and a half or so of torrential rain there to have uh, to have turned it in and gone home because uh, all the gear was getting wet. And uh, I was determined to actually film all this vlog using this Fuji X-S10 because uh, I'm always really astounded by the quality of the video that comes out of this, um, but I don't use it enough. So it was a bit of a, a pain to uh, keep drying the equipment all the time, but uh, hopefully you appreciate the improved video quality. I don't know. Uh, we've got a nice little bit of bokeh background separation in a lot of the shots today. Um, I did have a bit of a tough shoot earlier on in the week, actually. I'll, I was tempted to can this video. I will actually put it out at some point, um, but it's been a, been a tricky week in terms of the shooting, uh, but classic Lake District, it's, uh, it's usually tough conditions here and you've just got to got to get on with it um, but yeah I'll I will put that video out I was going to as I say can it but um, I think it's important to uh, to show the successes and the failures as much as possible um, but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this video keep liking and subscribing uh, subscribers are ticking up a little bit now I think we're nearly six and a half thousand uh, subs which is great I appreciate everyone for for tuning in and uh, do go and watch the second part of my Lefortin 
series. Uh, both videos, I think, in terms of how I put them together, would sort of similar quality but it's it's funny how youtube sort of punts one video and not the other um so even though they've both had a decent amount of views that the first one uh seems to have done particularly well on the view count so um yeah please do watch the second one because uh, i think personally the better images are in that one anyway but right i'm gonna get down the road here and get back home for a hot shower because i'm desperately desperately needing one i'm absolutely freezing so as I say, keep liking and subscribing, take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.